Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to multiply matrices. So we start off by looking at how to multiply them by a scalar and then multiplying a matrix by another matrix. Now I will timestamp each part of the video below so you can skip through to whichever part you want to see and I'll also link my playlist on matrices in the video description. If it is useful please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Let's start off then by looking at how we can multiply a matrix by a scalar. And this actually works very similarly to how we would multiply a vector by a scalar. So here we have lambda equal to three. So we usually use the letter lambda to represent a scalar. So lambda equals three. And we're asked to calculate lambda multiplied by this matrix here. So really this just means three multiplied by the matrix two, three, four, six. And to calculate this, all we need to do is multiply the scalar by every single element inside of our matrix. So we're going to do 2 multiplied by 3, 3 multiplied by 3, 4 multiplied by 3, and 6 multiplied by 3. And this is going to result in a 2 by 2 matrix, which is going to be 6, 9, 12, and 18. So there you go. That is literally it. Multiplying by a scalar is very, very simple. Now, when it comes to multiplying a matrix by another matrix, there are actually some rules that we need to be aware of. So here we have two matrices, A and B, and we're asked to first calculate AB. So let's write this down first. So we wanna find AB, and I'm gonna bring down a copy of both of these matrices, just so I don't have to write them out again. So for matrix multiplication to occur, okay, our left matrix, the one on the left, so in this case, matrix A, must have the same number of columns as the right matrix has rows. So let's first write down the dimensions of these matrices. So we've got a two by two matrix multiplied by another two by two matrix. Well, let's check if, if this is true. So our left matrix, well, how many uh, columns does it have? It has two columns. And how many rows does our right matrix ha have? Well, it has two. So you can see if, if the inside numbers on our dimensions are the same, then yes, matrix multiplication can occur. Now, the two numbers on the outside here, two by two, this will give us the dimensions of our resulting matrix once we've done the multiplication. So if I multiply these two matrices together, the output is going to be another two by two matrix. So let's see how to actually do this calculation. And initially it might look a bit complicated, but it's actually very simple once you get used to it and you practice. So let's write it generically to start off with. So say we're going to get a resulting matrix C. So this element here, C, one, one, so it's in the first row, first column. Well, to calculate that, I'm gonna multiply the first row of the left matrix by the first column of the right matrix, okay? And the way we do that is like so. So let me write it down. I, I'm gonna do, I'll highlight it again in a different color. I'm gonna do the first element in the first column by the first element in the first row. So I'm gonna do two multiplied by one. Then I'm gonna add on to that, okay? the second element in the first row by the second element in the first column. So I'm then gonna do three multiplied by four. Okay, let me get rid of this now so it's a bit neater. We can calculate another element. So let me get rid of all these highlights. Let's now calculate this mate, uh, next element up here. So this is in my first row, second column. And the way we're gonna do this, okay, is by multiplying the first row of our first matrix by the second column in our second matrix. And we're gonna multiply it in the exact same way. So let me first get rid of this, and I'm gonna do two multiplied by three plus three multiplied by one. Okay, let's now do the bottom left element. So this is in my second row, and it's in the first column. So again, let me clear up this matrix. So it's gonna be, okay, the second row of the first matrix multiplied by the first, oh, sorry, second row of the first matrix multiplied by the first column of the second one. I feel like I'm saying a lot of words, it's getting a bit confusing, but hopefully it makes sense. So I'm gonna do one multiplied by one plus two multiplied by four. And then finally, to get the bottom right element or the one that's in the second row, second column, I'm gonna take the second row of the first matrix multiply it by the second column of the second one. And so we're gonna do one multiplied by three plus two multiplied by one. So this is gonna give us a resulting matrix, which is well, two multiplied by one is two, plus three times four is 12. So it's gonna be 14. Then we've got two multiplied by three is six, plus three is nine. One times one is one, plus two times four is gonna give us nine. 
and one times three is three plus two times one so it's going to give us five so you can see here we get a resulting matrix there so for the second part i'm not going to uh, annotate it as much we're just going to do it so we're going to calculate matrix b a so let me bring down a copy of both matrices and you're going to see why i'm doing this calculation in a second so b a let's bring them down here it is so let's calculate first row first column Okay, maybe I'll highlight it actually, but I won't write it out as much. So I'm going to do this row multiplied by this column. And I like to think of it usually as going across and down when I'm calculating these. So we're going to do 1 times 2 is 2 plus 3 times 1. So it's going to give us 5. Let's now do the next one. So let's do uh, the first row, second column. And so to do that, I'm going to take the first row here, multiply it by the second column. So I've got 3 plus 6, which is going to give me 9. And then I'll do the rest without highlighting it at all. So the bottom left element, that's going to be 4 times 2, which is 8, uh, plus 1 is 9. And then finally, we're going to do 4 times 3, which is going to be 12, plus 2, which is 14. Now, you'll notice something here. You'll notice that the matrix AB is not equal to the matrix BA. Okay, And this is because matrix multiplication is not always commutative. Okay, if it is, then AB is equal to BA, and that will sometimes happen, but it is not always commutative. So BA is not always equal to AB when it comes to matrix multiplication. It is, however, commutative. So what that means is, say we have three matrices, A, B, and C. Well, I could do A multiplied by B, and then times that result by C, and that will give me the exact same answer as if I were to first calculate B times C, and then multiply that by A. So it is associative. Let's look at one final example. So here we have two different matrices. The first one, let's write down the dimensions of it. So the first matrix we have is a uh, two by three matrix. And the second matrix we have is a three by two. Well, look, the number of rows of the first matrix equals the number of columns of the second one. And then, so we're gonna get a resulting matrix, which is a two by two matrix. So let's calculate this, so let's bring uh, both of these down and multiply them together and feel free to have a go if you want to check that it sort of makes sense so let's now calculate it we know we should be getting a two by two matrix out so for the top left element okay so I'll highlight it again I suppose we're going to do first row of the first matrix multiplied by the first column of the second matrix so two multiplied by two is four plus one times one is one plus three times three is nine then let's calculate the uh, first row second column element so we're going to do first row of the first matrix second column of the second matrix two times two is four plus one times one is one plus three times three is nine okay then let's now do uh, let's erase this so it's a bit easier to see the bottom left element so that's going to be the second row of the first matrix and first column of this wait first second row of the first matrix multiplied by the first row of the second matrix feel like I'm confusing myself here so we're going to do 4 multiplied by 2 which is 8 plus 5 multiplied by 1 is 5 plus 6 multiplied by 3 which is 18 and then finally I'm going to do the second row of the first matrix multiplied by the second column of the second matrix 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 plus 5 multiplied by 1 is 5 plus 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 and this is going to really test my addition here uh, so for the top left element we're going to get 14 same for the top right element and here what are we going to get uh, 20, 31 I think for both of these if I've made a mistake I'll adjust it uh, but yeah that is matrix multiplication. Hopefully uh, that was useful. If it was, please like and subscribe. Um, you can also check out my playlist on matrices. I'll link it in the description. And you can go over to my channel for tons of available maths and further maths tutorials. Thank you very much for watching.